the Amazon rainforest often called the lungs of planet Earth, now filled with smoke and fire and choking one of the world's most diverse ecosystems. The fires raging in the Amazon rainforest. Scientists warn at a record pace, and this could be dire, they say. Three weeks of raging fires setting off alarm bells around the world. With the Amazon fires posing a devastating threat to the region and the world. Tonight, the Amazon rainforest, often called the planet's lungs, is struggling to breathe. Record fires causing massive devastation. Nearly 73,000 detected by researchers so far this year. An 83% increase from 2018. The fires visible even from space. Those white patches, not clouds, but smoke. A cold weather system helped by changing winds, pushing smoke into cities more than a thousand miles away. Fires engulfing large swaths of the Amazon rainforest. The smoke is traveling far and wide. It darkened the skies over Sao Paulo, which is more than 2,000 kilometers south of the burn area. The scope of the fires is massive. The fires in the Amazon rainforest so huge, they're even visible from space. Strong winds pushing the smoke hundreds of miles, plunging the Brazilian city of Sao Paulo into darkness. Images emerged on Monday of Sao Paulo in the afternoon, blackened by smoke. One Twitter user likened the images to Batman's grim-looking metropolis, Gotham City. It's safe to say that if we lose the Amazon, we face ecological collapse. One of the world's most important natural treasures in flames. Over 9,500 fires have broken out since last week, threatening the most biologically diverse place on Earth and the long-term health of our planet. An area about half the size of the US, these forests produce 20% of the world's oxygen. The smoke has covered most of the northern half of Brazil, which is larger than the whole of Europe. Now, it's thought an area about the size of a soccer pitch is lost every minute of every day to deforestation in the Amazon. Fires in the Amazon are a natural occurrence, often started by lightning strikes. But that doesn't explain the sudden increase in fires this year, which environmentalists say has been exacerbated by cattle ranchers and soy farmers clearing forest at an increased pace. This year is worse than ever because Brazil's new president has allowed deforestation to accelerate. When these fires finally do go away, environmentalists say that damage will have been done. Here it is really, much of it is permanently wasted um, in a sense that it takes ages to regrow a, a forest and it can never be regrown in the original way. The Amazon is the planet's biggest tropical forest, nicknamed the lungs of the earth. But these fires are a reminder that the Amazon is losing trees at an unsustainable rate. A vital natural wonder going up in smoke. On to other news now, a large wildfire has broken out in Turkey's Maramara Islands. The blaze has been active since Monday and has so far destroyed at least five houses in the vicinity. As you can see on your screens, the fire was huge and uh, threw up big clouds of smoke into the air. The fire is believed to have started from Bergazda Forest, but the cause remains unknown. The Russian government is preparing to mobilize the military. President Vladimir Putin took the decision to call in the army on Wednesday as fires spread across three million hectares of Siberia. We begin this program in Russia where firefighters backed by the country's air force are struggling to contain vast wildfires in Siberia. And how unusual is it for this to be happening in Siberia, of all places? <laughs> right. So uh, fires in Siberia are, are fairly normal, but this is an unprecedented fire in terms of its size. It may happen every year, but the scale and intensity of these fires has never been seen before. And scientists say they are burning much farther north than normal. And it's not only Russia. This is Alaska, where firefighters have been struggling to contain the spread. The fires are engulfing more than 3.1 million hectares of land an area roughly the size of Belgium. Environmentalists are calling it an ecological catastrophe. Thick columns of smoke that can be seen from space have been drifting across remote regions of Siberia for weeks, pouring millions of tons of extra carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In Alaska, 400 wildfires so far this year, with new ones igniting every day. 
Why? Well, one of the reasons is temperatures. Um, the average June temperature in parts of Siber Siberia, where the worst of the wildfires are ranging, was almost 10 degrees Celsius higher in June than the 1981 to 2000 long-term average. Um, and plus, uh, there's the trees. Um, huge areas of trees are simply dying or simply burning uh, down. Um, the taiga is one of the green lungs um, of the world and scientists say that um, these trees could take uh, around a hundred years to, to grow back. So it's understandable that Greenpeace is calling this an ecological catastrophe. Wildfire season appears to be off to a slow start, and that's a welcome change after the two most deadly and destructive wildfire seasons on record. Now a plaque has been unveiled in Iceland to remember the first of its 400 glaciers to be lost. Yeah, a memorial like this might seem a little dramatic for an extinct glacier, but organizers are using this to call attention. Ocucal Glacier used to cover 15 square kilometers of mountainside. Now it is barely one square kilometer and less than 15 meters deep. While this is the first glacier to totally vanish in Iceland, experts say all of the country's ice masses will have melted away forever in the next 200 years. That includes Europe's largest glacier, the Vatnajökull. It's all bad news for Iceland, whose flag is inspired by all three of its key elements – water, fire and ice. Yes, there have been other small glaciers to disappear around the planet over the last 20, 30 years, but this is the first one of this size, and that's what makes it significant, because this is a well-known glacier in Iceland. It's storied in children's songs and things like that, so everybody knows about it, so the fact that it's now gone is significant, and it may be a bellwether that more glaciers of prominent size will also be disappearing in the decades ahead, guys. Back to you. Such a telling sign. Thanks so much, Matt. Oh, dramatic video of a dying glacier captured on tape. Kayakers Josh Bastier and Andrew Hooper ventured out on what they called a peaceful glacier exploration at Alaska's Spencer Glacier. They noticed a glacial bridge beginning to collapse. Man, when that whole thing goes, oh, here we go. As the bridge crumbled, they found themselves in danger with an eight-foot wave headed directly towards them. Riding the wave from the glacier to safety, they retreated, later reflecting on the dramatic events. Very, very blessed to have seen it and survived it. What Andrew and Josh witnessed is a new normal. Glaciers cleaving is a normal occurrence. They're becoming even more common. The Spencer is said to recede 100 feet a year. A new reality witnessed in real time. An island paradise in flames. Fires on the island of Evia started Tuesday at about 3 a.m. and were spread by strong winds through dry vegetation, according to local media. The fire tore through the forest, destroying everything. Residents on Evia Island stunned and helpless as they watched emergency services struggle to contain the blaze. As the wildfires rage, all local residents can do is watch as the flames creep closer to their homes. 56 fires broke out across the country within two days. A scene many say is all too familiar. What can I say? The whole village is on fire. All our worldly possessions are going up in smoke. It's horrible. One of the biggest deployments of firefighters in recent Spanish history is underway. Shock and disbelief in Gran Canaria. These villagers were forced out of their homes as large wildfires burn out of control across the Spanish island. They started spreading across mountainous areas on Saturday as high temperatures, strong winds and low humidity fuel the flames. This headline reads, The Unstoppable Catastrophe. 
Gran Canaria in the Canary Islands is popular with tourists. Millions visit every year to enjoy its mountains and beaches, and while the Spanish government has assured them the wildfires are only confined to higher grounds, environmentalists are concerned that Spain could lose some of its most important nature reserves. Kind of hazy over Seattle today, but sunny. Fires burning in eastern and central Washington are to blame, but a massive fire all the way over in Russia is adding to our hazy skies. I'm not going to be able to stay here long because this fire is spreading. But Conservationist right Paul Rosalie was at this fire on the Brazil-Peru border years. last it's month. Like there are literally millions of animals in this forest that cannot escape right now. How many animals were you able to rescue? None. They were all burned. His video and the hashtag Pray for Amazonia shared on social media today but more needs to be done. This should be the wake up call that pulls us back from the edge. In the Northern Hemisphere, parts of Siberia and Alaska are burning too, just weeks after a blistering July, the hottest month on record. This is just one of several thousand fires currently consuming swaths of the Brazilian Amazon, and the world is watching. The World Wildlife Fund says that almost 20% of the Amazon forest has disappeared in the last half century. And this is only accelerating. Now, the raging fires covered Sao Paulo, which is home to more than 12 million people, under a blanket of smoke so thick it blocked out the sun. We see video here of how Brazil's biggest city was plunged into darkness in the middle of the day. And there were also reports of black rain in Sao Paulo. A Twitter user posted a photo here of what she says uh, is a glass of rainwater. The hashtag Pray for Amazonas has been trending on Twitter, and other world leaders have reacted as well. Our house is burning, literally. Calling the wildfires, quote, an international crisis.